So where is she? Well, let's see. This 86 Montrachet. How's that? I'm sorry, sir. We're out of it. <laughs> of course you are. That's why I picked it. Uh, bin 47. What about that? Uh, excellent choice, sir. All right, good. I'll have that with dinner. I'll put it on ice. Thank you. So, Mrs. Carter, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yes. I don't understand. Well, Sheila told me that you'd been ill. Oh, she did? I hope it wasn't anything serious. I wasn't even ill, Mr. Forrester. Mrs. Carter, we did not discuss the subject in any great detail. What do you and Sheila discuss? Mostly business, I presume? Yes, we talk about business. To hear my daughter. Mother, please. Mrs. Carter, your daughter is a very uh, valuable addition to our company. Has she told you much about her last job? Mom. Don't be modest. You have a proud story. Share it with the man. I uh, worked in a hospital. I'm sure he knows that. Tell him what you did in the hospital. I was a nurse. And what a nurse she was. Mrs. Carter, why don't you tell me about Sheila? I'm sure you know her better than anyone. That's right, Mr. Forrester. No one knows Sheila like I do. So tell me about her. Mr. Forrester? Excuse me, sir. You have a phone call at the bar. Ah, I see. I'm sorry. Excuse me. You're really gonna do this, aren't you? You're gonna tell them all about me. Somebody has to stop you. Oh, from what, Mother? From what? From destroying this man like you almost did Lauren and Scott. You're using him for something that's pretty obvious. Oh, Mother, I am not using him. Stop it. He loves me. He hasn't said one endearing word to you since he sat down. All he does is talk about business. Well, maybe it's because that's what he thinks you want to talk about. Oh, sure. That makes a whole lot of sense. You're just taking this man for a ride, just like you did Scott. Is there a baby involved here, too? I'll bet this man has, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Oh, God. Another child. No. He's going to learn about you. He's going to learn about you tonight. Yes, Eric has a child from another marriage. You say this man is in love with you. I don't see it. I just don't see it. But you must hate me so much. You're be doing this to me. What am I doing to you? Keeping you from hurting someone else? Destroying another life? Maybe another innocent child? Oh, God, I can't get through to you, Mother. So I may as well leave. I'm sorry about the phone call. Where are you going? I, uh, I really don't feel very well, and I'm sorry. Look, I want you to sit down here. Eric, I really don't No, I mean it's Sheila. I want you to sit down. Come on.
I want to talk to both of you. Look, it's pretty obvious that you two are having problems this evening. Do you want to know why, Mr. Forrester? Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Sheila, no, no, I <laughs> no, want you I to want... sit down. Sit down, please. Come on. Now I'll tell you all about my daughter. Mrs. Carter, with all due respect, I really am not interested in your problems, your personal problems with Sheila. That's between the two of you. Just a few minutes ago, you sat there and told me that you wanted to hear all about her. And now you tell me you don't. Why is that, Mr. Forrester? Because I can see how upsetting it is to Sheila. And I care very deeply for your daughter, Mrs. Carter. I don't want to see her go through that. about my daughter? Yes, I do, very much. And because she's a good nurse, a good employee? Well, those were my first impressions, yes. I was wondering if you might have meant something else. Like what? That you cared about her for more personal reasons. I do. I think you're a fine man, Mr. Forrester, and I'm, I'm sure you care for all of your employees, uh, their lives, their welfare. But that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about either. It's not? Is this supposed to be a secret? No. But you haven't, you haven't told her yet. Yes, I have. She just won't believe me. She won't believe what? She won't believe how you feel. Well, we'll just have to straighten her out, won't we? Mrs. Carter, Molly, over the past many weeks, your daughter and I have become very close. Very close. In fact, one might even say I'm falling for Sheila. Actually, one could say that I've already fallen. I look forward to seeing her, and I look forward to being with her, and I appreciate her many fine qualities. I have not been this fulfilled, and have not felt this good about a relationship in a very long time. I love your daughter, Molly. And it is my fervent hope that that does not upset you. Upset me? How could it upset me? Well, something has been bothering you ever since we all sat down here. I assumed it had to do with Sheila and me and our relationship. And whatever it is, I want you to tell me about it. I want you to tell me whatever is on your mind. Whatever your concerns are, Molly, I want you to tell me what they involve. Well, then maybe we should have dinner. You probably feel better after. Darling, you want to make a suggestion to your mother from the menu? Uh, yeah, sure. We eat here all the time. 